Okay, hi Thomas Tennis here again, and uh, with another fabulous video um, on how to stroke a tennis ball using the golden mean. Um, when people talk about the uh, sweet spot of a tennis racket, it's usually a pretty big area, and of course, the bigger the racket head, the bigger the sweet spot. So, uh, I'm going to put a picture next on, on what the sweet spot looks like or what the racket makers say the sweet spot looks like, but it's something like the size of your hand, which means that I should be able to hit the ball anywhere in that sweet spot and I should be able to get a good hit out of it. So is that the case? Look look at how uh, far it is from here to here. The top of the sweet spot is about, to the bottom of the sweet spot is about six inches. So if I had that ball here, am I going to get the same result as hitting the ball here or hitting the ball here? Which is the best place to, to contact the ball? Well. As we discussed before, to the center of the sweet spot from here is about 22 inches. So, and from here to here is about six to eight inches. So I'm gonna get a very different hit up here than I am here or here, and which is the best, and I'll tell you what it is right now, it's up here. Up here versus down here, you're gonna have, uh, let's say 22, you're probably maybe have 28 inches from your hand, okay? And if your racket is going around an arc, 28 inches will give you much more racket head speed, probably about 20% more than here or here. Uh, compare here to up here, it, it's a tremendous difference. If you hit the ball here, it's going to be okay, but if you hit the ball high on the sweet spot, your racket head is going to be going 15 or 20% faster. The, the, because you're compressing the ball, the ball is going to stay on your strings longer, maybe two nanoseconds instead of one. Um, so it, it seems very strange maybe to say where on the sweet spot you should hit the ball. So you'll have to test it out yourself, but I will guarantee you that if you hit the ball here up high on the sweet spot, you will feel the ball in the strings longer. You'll get more easy power. You'll get more spin. Your ball will go over the net. Uh, and, and you will just see a tremendous difference with the, the amount of top spin you get. So when you hit the ball with the golden mean, you want to go into the ball, compress the ball, but you want to do it with the high part of the sweet spot. Compress the ball, then go up, and you will feel the ball compress into the strings, and then you'll feel uh, a little roll. So it's a very short roll, but you will feel it. You'll feel that roll, and all of a sudden your ball will be doing tremendously better and different things than if you're hitting the center of the sweet spot or the bottom of the sweet spot. So get high on the sweet spot, go get a ball machine and test it out yourself. And I think you will be pretty amazed. And that's it for today. I hope uh, this helps. And please, if you happen to do it, leave a message down there. If you're one of the eight or 10 people that watch my videos, uh, give it a try. And I think you'll find that you're going to get a lot more spin, a lot more control. And I think you'll be pretty amazed. So hit it right there. High on the sweet spot. High. And that's it today.